Hey guys, Gian here of Gadget Pilipinas back once again for another video. So, you just got your shiny new Realme book. Congratulations! I know you are very excited and I am very sure that you want to do plenty of things with it. Today, let me help you set your expectations and give you some tips on what you can do with your new laptop. Let's get started! Well, hello there. Now the first thing you need to know is that the Realme Book is pre-installed with an Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 160Hz adapter. It's one of the best and modern Wi-Fi technology you can use at the moment with one small caveat. Coverage can be a little short at default. This is the reason why you should consider boosting it by playing with your settings. What you can do is go to Device Manager, look for Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 160Hz under Network Adapters, and then right click and choose properties, select roaming aggressiveness, and choose highest value. The next thing you do is select transmit power and choose the highest value as well. These settings can help increase and relatively improve the performance of your Realme Book's Wi Fi connection. Next, use a multimedia hub. If you bought an i5 variant of the Realme Book, your laptop comes with two Thunderbolt 4 USB Type-C ports. These two inputs are very important as these can both power your laptop and allow you to maximize it. While this is the case, it can be quite limited if you take it as it is. This is the reason why you need to use a Type-C multimedia hub. You can buy one via online and my recommended brands are either Belkin or Ugreen. Invest in something that features a slew of additional input like HDMI port, additional USB Type-A, and Type-C hubs, and even an SD or micro SD card reader. Next, your F keys cannot be unlocked. One of my major disappointments with the Realme Book is the way it configured the keyboard as the F keys are locked at default. There is also no way for you to change it via BIOS setting, so it's very limited at this time. Now, what does having locked F keys mean? If you fancy using keyboard shortcuts like Alt F4 or Control F4 to close certain apps or windows, you will have to add a keyboard modifier FN to execute a certain command. This means the uh, usual Alt F4 will have to be FN Alt F4 to close an app. On the brighter side, if you're not used to doing these keyboard shortcuts, the Alt 4 and Control F4, then you'll be happy to know that multimedia or function shortcuts are easier to do on Realme Book. That's something for you guys to remember. Next, try PC Connect on supported smartphones. One of the cool features of your laptop, the you know, Realme Book, is PC Connect. This allows you to use your supported smartphone to connect with your laptop. Unfortunately, however, the feature is only available for Realme smartphones, particularly the GT series for now, but this does not mean that you cannot use an app similar to this. Pre-installed on Windows is your phone, and this does almost everything PC Connect can do. If you're using a non-Realme smartphone, you can just simply download your phone companion link to Windows on your device, open your phone on your laptop, and follow the rest of the instructions. Once you have fully linked your phone to your Realme book, you're all set. From this point forward, you can receive and send text messages via your PC, copy photos from your phone to your PC, and even receive phone notifications on your laptop. Next, download these must-have applications. If ever you're interested in maximizing your new Realme Book and add convenience to some of its already cool features, I suggest that you download these applications. Ear Trumpet, this one is free. Available via Windows Store, this will allow you to control the volume of each application. Normally, when users tweak the volume, the volume of all apps will be changed as well. Ear Trumpet overrides this feature by allowing users to change the volume per application. Next one is OBS. 
while you can assign system hotkeys to capture and record screencasts via Intel graphics command on your Realme Book, using a more powerful and free broadcasting and recording app like OBS can be very helpful. Your new Realme Book laptop can handle using this to record some of your streams or gameplay, so go ahead and try it. However, if you want a better and more feature-packed streaming software, we highly recommend XSplit Broadcaster. You can get 10% discount by using our code XSplitXGP via the link down below. Next one is SCRCPY and SNDCPY or Screen Copy or Sound Copy. If you want to start streaming your mobile games, downloading and using these screen and sound streaming open source apps can be the best solutions available around. It can be tricky to set up, but all the efforts will be truly worth it. You can head to our Discord channel. If you have any questions, you can go and drop your questions there. We'll be very happy to answer your questions. Your new Realme Book is powerful enough to let you be productive and entertained. The Realme Book is powered by an Intel Core i5-1135G7 2.4GHz processor with a turbo boost up to 4.2GHz and an Intel Iris X graphics. As mentioned in my previous video, this one is installed with an 8GB dual channel RAM and has a partitioned 512GB PCI SSD storage. Maximize it to your heart's content and enjoy its plethora of features. Now, if you're interested in buying one, the new Realme Book has two variants, an i3 and an i5. Don't forget about that. What I got here is an i5 variant. As mentioned in my previous video, if you're interested in getting either one of these laptops, the i3 version is $37,990, while the i5 version is $47,990. Well, that's it for our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot about the Realme Book. Whether you've already bought it or pre-ordered or even thinking about buying it, please let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you have any questions about it, please do let us know via the comment section or via our Discord channel at discord.gg slash gadgetphilippines. Go ask questions there. We'll be very happy to answer them. Again, this has been Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, this is the best time to do so. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Well, hello there.